This is Taking Stock on Bloomberg. I'm Pim Fox. All right, so if you're an engineer or you're a company that is designing a new product, rather than building the product in the physical world, you now use software, 3D software, to build it. Let's get some insight into this world from James Heppelman. He is the chief executive of Parametric Technology. Mr. Heppelman, welcome to Bloomberg. Thank you, Pim. I'm glad to be here. Explain a little bit about uh, parametric technology. I hope I did you justice. I mean, this is also about the product life cycle management. So it's not just about designing the product. It's running it through its various guises and then managing it once you actually build it, right? Yeah, that's exactly right. I mean, generally speaking, um, our company's in two interrelated businesses. One is computer-aided design, and that's where you're creating these digital models on the computer to represent the components and subsystems and, and ultimately the full assembly of the product on the computer. The second part of our business, uh, product lifecycle management or PLM, is really how do you get hundreds or thousands of people working together using tools like computer-aided design when those people are spread around the world and, and in different departments, different business units, but need to work together and share information and work effectively to bring a great product to market quickly. Now, James, uh, just as some of the industries that you focus on, aerospace and defense, as well as the automotive industry, can you give us any insight into the health of these businesses? Let's start with the aerospace operations. Yeah, we do quite a bit of business with both with uh, commercial and defense aerospace companies. Of course, uh, you know, the aerospace business, I think, is reasonably healthy right now, at least in terms of uh, investment. You know, these uh, aerospace companies plan their programs well in advance. There's long lead times to bring a new airplane to market. You know, they don't have the luxury of moving up and down quickly in their engineering efforts uh, as the economy goes. But I think, uh, you know, automotive is probably a little tougher, to be honest. When we look around, though, we also do business with heavy industrial companies. That's coming back pretty strong. We do business with uh, medical device companies. That's somewhat unaffected by the economy. Uh, surprisingly, we do a fair amount of business with retail companies and, uh, as we say, footwear and apparel type companies, shoes and clothes, things like that. So, you know, where one sector's down, there might be another one uh, going quite strong. And I'd say generally right now, all of them are improving with the economy. Uh, James, explain uh, the concept of domino deals and why that is a term that's used when people describe what's happening at Parametric. Yeah, well, uh, in the middle of fiscal 2009, we had a, uh, an investor day with many of our investors. And, of course, in, uh, in the middle of 2009, there wasn't a lot of good financial data to talk about from anybody. So we saw some pretty interesting trends in our business. And that is that we were able to basically take away big accounts from competitors. And we called these dominoes because of the domino effect of securing a number of big competitive takeaways. And these are typically... Uh, you know, 10 plus billion dollar companies who would be using a competitor's CAD or PLM software. So we, we originally set a goal that we wanted to secure 10 of these big competitive takeaways throughout our fiscal 2010. Uh, to be honest, we've raised the goal twice. Currently our goal is 15 and we've secured 11 of them. So I think what competitors see is that PTC is now able to open up a replacement market and offer technology that's, uh, you know, advanced enough compared to its competitors that it justifies some of the pain and costs of actually switching out of the incumbent technology. James, last question for you. How's the pipeline at a Parametric? Give us some insight. Well, uh, fiscal 2010 here, we're in our second quarter. It's setting up pretty nicely. Our first quarter, we uh, delivered 8% growth overall on the backs of 50% license growth. We uh, forecasted or gave guidance for 50% license growth again for the second quarter and 30% and for the full year. So I think, uh, you know, as you can see, we're probably one of the fastest growing major software companies in the industry right now. All right. And really uh, shaping up pretty nicely. We're going to leave it there. I want to thank you very much, President of Parametric Technology, James Hempelman.